Hello. Lionel. Yeah. Hey, it's Bobby. You okay? Well, how you doing, man? How are you holding up? Oh, you know, health-wise, like I'm good. How? What are you doing right now? And are you just locked in the house? I listen, man. I am. Listen, I have boulders against the gate. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> I have, I have a mask on my cell phone. What are you talking about? I don't trust me. Well, I'm glad to hear you're healthy and you're good. I, you know, I was, and I want to talk to you about Kenny a little bit because I got to know Kenny later, and Kenny and I became really friendly in the later part of his life. Well, and I know you and him were close for years. Well, you know, let me, let me, let me be very honest with you. I, I just lost one of my heroes. That is the best way I can describe Kenny um, because of the fact that, you know, I met him at a time in my life when I was trying to figure out life, you know, transitioning from the Commodores into my solo career. And, you know, God sent me an angel because this guy was probably one of the nicest guys I'd ever met in my life. And so it was just a beautiful relationship that blossomed into something called a friendship forever. We have lived a lot of life together. On the phone now with Lionel Richie talking about his friendship with Kenny Rogers. So when you write Lady... How long did you have that? Were you was that meant to get to him? Was that for you? Like, what was the story between you writing it and him recording it? Well, it's all about. I, I think it's about God's plan because it was actually designed. The melody of it was supposed to be for the Commodores, and at that particular time, I had written, you know, three times a lady and all these other songs, and so the guy said, "You know what, Lionel? Do you have anything else besides?" Uh, another love song. I said, well, I, I wrote a religious song, the, um, Jesus is Love. He said, well, take that. We like that. That's a good That's a good transition from what we're doing. So now I went from having another ballad to now having this thing sitting around. Well, I got a call from Kenny Rogers saying, do you have a song for me? And I said, Kenny, I'm quite honest with you. I have a song, but I don't have time to do it because we're the Commodores are going on tour in about two weeks, and I'm not going to be able to do it, but I'll do it when I come back. About three days later, the drummer for the Commodores fell off his motorcycle, and I had two months of free time because he was recovering. And I called Kenny back and said, are you interested in that song? He said, absolutely. <laughs> well, the funny part about this story is my mumbles. I don't write the words, because if you know anything about writing a song with the Commodores, for God's sakes, you don't finish the song, because in two seconds, they will say, we don't like it, what else do you have? So I always would have basically the first verse of it all, and nothing else. Well, the song was called Baby, just Baby, ba 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 And I now go to meet Kenny, and he had never heard a song pitched like this before, because I've never pitched a song to anyone. So I walk in his, in his backstage area of his uh, show, and he said, okay, what's the song? And I said, well, he was telling me about he had just got married, and he's never in his life ever, and he's never married. I mean, he married a lady, a real lady like Lionel. I mean, what am I doing with a lady, me of all people? You know, so but he said, oh, yeah, by the way, what's the name of the song? I said, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no fool. <laughs> Lionel Richie is on the phone with us right now. We're talking about his good friend Kenny Rogers. You know, until I was kind of looking back at some old old Kenny stuff, um, you know, he sang on We Are the World, which you wrote. Yeah, you know, that was, um, We Are the World was just one of those, you know, I, I think every once in a while, God kind of possesses you and says, this is what you're really here to do. And the world needs to hear this song. And you need to deliver this message. And of course, you know, even to this day, Someone asked me the other day, am I going to write another We Are the World? And I said, no, I'm just going to play We Are the World again. Because every time I try to write a new We Are the World, I keep writing the same lyrics that I wrote for We Are the World. The message is the same right now. We are challenged, but we are our brother's keeper right now. On the phone now, my friend Lionel Richie. Well, I know that uh, you and Kenny were, were dear friends, and I appreciate you sharing the stories about them and I, I appreciate you being so friendly and so kind to me. Like, I love you, too. You, you, you just have been, Lionel, you just have been the best to me. You, haven't, you didn't need to be, but you just have been the best to me. Well, you know what? I, um, I, I have to tell you something. I've been trained by some very famous people. And when I say that, you know, when I met Kenny Rogers, you couldn't get any bigger than Kenny Rogers. You know, that was the gambler I walked in on. And I must tell you, in less than 15 seconds, he made me feel like we grew up together. 
back in Houston, Texas. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. And I learned a big trick, and that is if you're famous, if you're really famous, you don't have to scare anybody to death. You just have to be as nice as you possibly can because that's they're already uncomfortable when they first meet you. And I must admit, you were so quiet when I first met you, I figured i got to cheer you up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make that much noise at all, but, you know, I kind of thought maybe maybe he doesn't want to talk to me. But but you are the sweetest guy, and I'm to tell you, now that we're with the show together, I mean, this is just, A, too much fun, and we were meant to be together, but... Um, don't worry. I, I think we've got a lot more life to go, Bobby. I think so, too. And, and you know, I love you. You're, you're so good on American Idol. And Oh, man. Back at you. Back you, at you. You still like doing the show? You still love doing the show? Can I tell you something? I am having, truthfully, the best time ever in my life. I, I, when I first started, I kept thinking, okay, now what am I doing? Because I've got Luke at the other end of the table, and I'm not quite sure what Luke's going to say. And and Luke scares me, but he's so funny, and we've become the best of friends. I'm I'm, I'm actually, you know, I feel like Luke and, and Lionel, are like Kenny and, and and Lionel, you know, it's just it's so crazy. And then of course Katie, when Katie scares the two of us, you know we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I I must say? I think about your job. You have the tough job, because after we deal with them in front of us, we hand them back to you. And they're a nervous wreck. They're nervous Before going they in, hear, nervous oh coming out. Oh my God. I mean, I don't know I don't know if I could do your job. Your job is you have to put them together to face us and then pull them back together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play us out here. What what's your one Lionel, you you have one song. The crowd you it's a it's a stadium. They say you only get to play one song, Lionel. What are you gonna play? If I had to play one song, it'd be my my theme song, which is easy like Sunday morning. I just I think that's just the way I feel. Man, listen, I love you. I'll see you soon. Be safe, my friend. All right, my friend. And tell everyone, all the listeners out there, hang in there. This is going to be a rough ride, but but God will get us through this. All right, Lionel. See you later, friend. All right, my brother. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And here it is, Easy Like Sunday Morning by Lionel Richie on The Bobby Bone Show.